Yeah. So, Kellen Mond has 2,603 passing yards, 18 touchdowns, 4 picks. DeAndre Swift, 216, 103. I mean, 1,003. 1,003, 11 touchdowns. Cape Davis, 800 uh, yards, 56 catches, 4 touchdowns. Yeah. So far, so good. No Sewell. Aiden Hutchinson, Aiden Hutchinson, um, Ronnie Aria, and Jeff Kuda. You got the Bears again. So that means you gotta put Kiwi Contain on that boy. He's been doing pretty well though. Sam Montgomery's been fantastic. Odell Beckham's gonna be a pain in my ass, so with the Alexander Franklin. Ooh, they don't really give up a lot of sacks. Jordan Brooks is a beast. Chester Sutherland is a beast. Marcon Smith's a beast. Jordan Brooks again is a beast again. And Jake Elliott's beast. So we're gonna have some issues. But hopefully we can win. Win here will basically secure our spot in the playoffs one would one would assume. One would assume. It's been a tradition since the early days of the Boop. NFL, and we're off on Thanksgiving Day in Detroit. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first round pick back in 2021 right, let's get this. from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. And last week's loss came despite a clean game on his end, throwing the ball with two touchdowns and zero interceptions. His job this week is simple. Do it again. Continue to avoid turnovers and hope that we'll boy got back up. He's going to be dropped following a pick up a seven past the 30 to the 32. The numbers on the ground for Montgomery in last week's affair. 12 carries, 56 yards, and a touchdown. And even though it's a short week, running backs love when they're in a groove, and that's exactly where he is right now. He's Dang it. Oh, nice hit. Taken in, and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. No, oh, no, Callaway. Let's see what you got, buddy. Oh. Here's Fields. He finds his target, Beckham. This one move. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't there get go. Nice tackle. the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that so seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage now fields catch oh, right here by Kim. that boy now okay able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds on uh, fourth down ryan stonehouse on to punt ryan stonehouse oh so they actually are gonna punt last week in the loss five punts as he gets this one away let's go and that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. So we stop them. Leading them out from Texas A&M at quarterback Kellen Mond. Mom, try my block. On the ground, it's swift to start the drive. And he'll go down at the 26. Six-yard pickup for DeAndre six. Swift. Pretty much unreal. Not just in terms of yardage, Charles, but also throw in the three touchdowns as well. When you put the whole package together, I can make you a pretty good guarantee right now. He's going <laughs> to see that? a few more people in the box every time he lines up. Yeah, I don't think that the defense... Damn it, Sam Williams. Stop him. No, I'll run him. Let's go. Touchdown. Damn it, Williams. And we're up 7-0. 
It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score. Setting out a kick. Yeah, Mr. Williams has a cheat code. Who picked off? Oh, I'm on it already. I probably picked it off. Let me score another touchdown. DeAndre Swift this time. Oh, we'll call this. All right, Callaway. I believe in you. Get him. Ooh, Bobby Wagner. Nice hit. Oh, I got to put on my ass. Well, Charles, this Thanksgiving tradition so great. I mean, going back essentially through the full century of the NFL, I know you probably have a lot of fond memories of Thanksgiving Day football yourself. Hey, nice pass breakup, Amani. Bless you. All right, Tony O'Neill. Poor Bart Star. Dave Williams from the Bears returning the overtime kickoff for a touchdown to win a game on Thanksgiving Day. I remember so many different things happening, but how much fun is it each and every year to know that you got football on Thanksgiving Day? Nice, 15. Let's go. All right. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. I'm going to throw it. Oof. St. Brown picks up a tough game. I think that's 12. Yep. Alright. Picks up a gain of 5. Nice game. Not oh TJ. TJ. And now it brings up third down. Mon out of the shotgun. Thank you, I'm Amaron St. Brown. Another gain of eleven. Proud of you. Swift picks up a tough cat, tough 14. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Gabe Davis, thank you, 11. That's 11 for him. Lions are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Gain of 12, actually. And as time expires, Swift, ah, does not get in there. Oh, come on. That boy was wide open. And Jason Cabinda gets it. Thank you, Jason. The three-time Pro Bowler. His first touchdown on the year. And the Lions have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. Now it's 21 nothing. Extra point by Badgley. It's time for them to put up the sticks. They gotta put down the sticks now. 21 0.
Nah, so they came back a little bit. Joshua Palmer for 26. Can we kick a field goal? All in all, decent. 24-7 now. Now a first down throw, Fields. Oh, no. Left side taken in by Komet. Komet picked up eight. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's a second and two now from the 33. All right, Callaway. Doing your best. Fields. Ah, I almost had him. That's Franklin. That's Franklin, second though. Catch for him today and it'll wind up a first down. You know, thinking of this Thanksgiving Day game, Charles, for years we've heard the talk. Why don't we open up these Thanksgiving Day games instead of just being Detroit and Dallas every year, give other teams a shot to host? I know you're kind of like me, a bit of a traditionalist. Six. What do you have to say to that, CD? I think it's a great argument, and the league could support it quite well, where you could yes. move games to different spots. Yeah. And still be very successful on Thanksgiving Day, but hey, no way. Come on, come on, Jeff. I don't want Detroit and Dallas to give up those slots. I like the fact that we watch them each and every year. But what I really like is that the league ended a third game in 2006, and usually it's division rivals, but that's the third one of the day, and it caps off a great day of football. There we go, just three yards. We don't need him to pick up much, just just a gate gain. Alright. Aiden. Oh, we got him. Let's go. Aiden Hutchinson coming through. Oh, shit. Aiden Hutchinson comes through. Let's go. Now it's going to be a tough field goal. Two minute warning though. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This Jesus. 54 yards away. Oh, they get oh he blocked it. Let's go. Now it's up, this Run. Let's go. We blocked it. chance for the defense to get a hand on it and that's just what we saw there and even if the odds increase a little bit because it's a longer field goal attempt it's still difficult to get hands on the football and create a block big time excitement for that unit getting through and knocking that one away they go with a shuffle pass and it's complete thank you eight yards let's go all right eight yard pickup Oh, I'm around St. Brown, lost him. Let's go. Oh, I probably could have done it to TJ, but... No! There we go. I don't think they all- they don't have cheese. Let's go. a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. You did this thing. This will not be 
return. It'll come out to the 25. All right. So they stopped him there. And then we scored a touchdown. Who scored the touchdown? Elias Jones the Jr. And now the Lions in the lead and they're gonna get the football first as well as the second half is underway. Right. Fields in right around the goal line. Uh up. Uh, good return. Decent. I mean it's not the greatest, but the Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of Alright, the fact that I was able to get five yards off of that is pretty good. Because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. Oh, that's how they're approaching it. I should have thrown it to Gabe. Gabe Davis was running wide open. Gabe Davis was wide open. I just. Messed that whole thing up. There you go, Mon. Just pick up, just pick up the game. Just pick up the first. That's all I ask of you. Just pick up the first, man. Oh, oh. DeAndre. Oh, picks up a play. Oh, so close. So close. DeAndre Swift was so close, man. Cortez Waller. On first and ten, here's Mon. Oh no! He was somewhat open. No. Kellen. Kellen. Alright. Oh, we took a big shot. But thank you for picking up the first. I appreciate you. Ah, ah, oh. if he would have just kept his hands. These two division rivals are coming to late games on the schedule this year. Their first meeting, if I remember, was back in week 10. And it was the Lions who got the road victory in that one. So they'll be looking to claim the season series now here at home in Detroit. All right, pick up again at three. That's fine. That is a okay. Hey, I remember this play. All right, let's go. Get a nine. All right. Had to escape. All right, let's go. Oh. Jesus. Gain a three. Gain a three. It's fine by me. Fine by me. All right. Gabe Davis, I'm going to need you to catch this touchdown. Or stop the interception. One of the two. Let's go, Gabe. Gabe Davis. Touchdown. Let's go. And the Lions take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And we're going to lead 45-7. Now I got to play defense. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. I have to play defense now. So this should go well. Surely I won't blow it. 45-7 though. That's pretty good. I don't think they're going to come back. But I also could be wrong. Let's go and press it. Alright. Come on, Callaway. Let's get, let's get it. Ah, oh, we didn't get through. Alright, just against him. I don't think they want to keep dinking and dunking. We'll be fine. Oh. Campbell, good old Campbell. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. There we go. Nice. Oh. Going up the gut, Montgomery. Hey, nice tackle. Fish on it. Well, that's not what I wanted. This is what I'm gonna call. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. 
There we go. Hey, hey. Right now for this offense is so not okay that it might not matter but you still in the third quarter oh, picked off Bobby Wagner the former Seahawk let's go Bobby all right oh we punted that's good oh they fumbled Kevin Byard nice they have five turnovers this game we have no nothing. Nah, oh, oh. Gain at three. Oh, two. Only for a couple. I have to wonder. Oh, what a catch. I saw him winning wide open. Belius Jones Jr. with a tight rope down the sideline. That brother. Saw him wondering right open, dude. What a catch. What a catch by this young man right here. What a catch, man. What a catch, dude. 2143. Bro. Beautiful catch. What a catch. Oh. And it's going to be, we put a 50 on him. Let's go. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Here are the Lions. Now let's kick it. Line up and kick this one away. Let's go. 52 sounds. Take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing. Trailing here. Oh, almost had him. This would be their third straight defeat. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Oh, what are you doing, Deshaun? Elliot, what have you done? Across the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Callaway so close. You were close, Callaway. I think the internet went down. Oh, turn. Oh, six, six. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. Oh, okay. Nice pass pickup. Oh, Callaway, so close. I'm telling you, Callaway. You're getting closer every time. Alright. Oh, what the heck? Noah. Noah. What are we doing? Oh, Noah Sewell. Let's go. Noah Sewell comes through clutch. Oh. Oh. I'll see what happens here. Touchdown, DeAndre Swift. All right. 
Let's shoot some clock. It's already 59. Four catches, 90 yards for Gabe Davis. Closer to a thousand. Oh. And DeAndre Swift. He has been. It's been kind of crazy. Gabe Davis. Ah, so close. Every time. Offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game. And they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. Yeah, Andre Swift. It's been amazing. You don't like this at all. But in today's football, you just go ahead and savor it. Watch a team execute it all. I'm Ron St. Brown. I think it's hurt. Davis again. Let's go. Just outside the 10. on the pick up there it'll be second and eight ladies and gentlemen that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position yes he's as big as they come but still plenty agile he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball and Gabe Davis again Gabe Davis does it again Sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we haven't been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out. We're just going to call zone. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed. Get up, about get up, things. get up, Aiden. Thank you. Game, but the self-inflicted wounds. They've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out. Oh, I guess we're calling three-man deep by accident. Mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Oh, this guy. right side here, Beckham. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Fields. Polluting the Fields hit and the ball is loose. Let's go. To get this one back and indeed they did. Aiden Hutchinson. Third sack of the game. He has 12 on the season. They come up on a second and very long. To throw his field. Yes. I felt. Get him. There you go. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen. And it sets up a third down. I like the thinking there. Because right after a sack, it can be a great time to call for a screen to your running back and use the eagerness of the defense against them. Able to gain some positive yards out of this one and make things a little bit easier for him on third down. Gets this to Campbell out on the right All side. Right. They do get 10 back, but still away. You stop him. Let's go. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300 yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels so Oh, so close. But hey. He did it. Let's go. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have Let's to go. your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there.
to the Cardinals. Oh, we're the second seed. Continuing on. Oh, we lost 40 to 34. Of course we lost. Of course. Should be my speed rusher, homie. Alright. So we're 9 and 3 now. It's not good, no. Something to worry about? Not really. No, it's not my center. I have negative two million in caps and, and funds. I'm broke. Broke, 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 broke. There we go. Laptop is dying. Let's go to next week. Plus, uh, plus. Ah, we made money and we lost again. So great. We are losing, but we still got the second seed. There we go. Kellen Mon getting a little bit better. All right, and then we got. Two more weeks before the Packers. So I'm hoping we're able to, you know, win some games. Oh, let me. The linebackers cannot split no more. Uh, alright. So the center is good. I need to do the tight end a bit. Alright. Simming training. Oof. Okay. Upgrade players. Quincy Galloway. He's a speed rusher, but we'll get him we'll get him run stopper. We'll get him some run stopping abilities. It's a good speed rusher though. Um and after that, next week we've got two more games. Hopefully we can beat the the commanders, dog. We need to beat someone. Hey, we beat them. 24 27 14. Hey, we got the number one seed, too. Nice. All right, upgrade players. Jamison Williams. We'd we'll like him to be more slot, though. Get that slot up there. Thank you, Jamison. 
2.37 million caps in funds. Uh, yeah, still the same thing. I mean, just the backups this time. Everyone else is pretty good. Just my running back. There we go. All right, all I got next is the Packers. Oh, we lost 24-19. Great. And an injury. Javon Kinlaw tore his labor. Damn it. Oh, the, the Bucks got the number one seed back. But we're making the playoffs either way. Penny Sewell, let's get you up there. Alright, so I mean, we've been struggling these past couple of games. Alright. I mean, 10, 10 and 5 so far is not bad. Oh, pretty good stats for Kevin Mon. DeAndre Swift is DeAndre Swift. Hey, two 1,000 yard receivers. Gabe Davis, Amron St. Brown, Jamison Williams. Close. So you can use like 99 yards more. Noah Sewell, 115, 812. Oh, nice. Doug Farrell in his rookie season has six sacks. Wow, three right side with there. Nice. Kicking. Michael Bashley's viable yearly. Lamar Jackson, but Ken Lamont's a close second. A close second. But yeah. You know, like most five guys do all those good things, and I'll catch you on the next one. After I save this game. Alright. Save. Alright, bye guys. Peace.